The wake of a storm with no mercy for those in its path. The fragile dwellings of so many ill-equipped to withstand its force. Cyclone Ide made landfall in Mozambique last week. The impact only now becoming clear as help starts to reach Beira, a city of a half a million people. These rescue pictures were shot overnight. Figures emerging out of darkness like ghosts into the boats and arms of waiting rescue workers. Too few, says the country's president, Felipe Niuzi. He's asked for help from abroad. We have rescue equipment, volunteers and doctors arriving now in Maputo, he say. Aid workers in the capital say reaching Beira by road is extremely difficult. Two main routes cut off by the storm. Flights only resumed yesterday. Shanty towns along the coast have been especially hard hit, some completely submerged. I woke up because I felt like I was floating, says this 14-year-old, but my leg was actually in water. Hundreds of thousands are now in need. There is a lot of houses underwater and people looking for, for support. People mentioned that it is possible to see some dead bodies around. Zimbabwe, too, has felt the cyclone's touch. The sound of grief carried on the wind in Chimani Mani as people start to bury their dead. Video taken by locals shows the power unleashed by the cyclone in the rivers, destroying homes and taking out entire sections of road. Just like Mozambique, it will complicate the rescue effort. And all in a part of the world, that can ill afford more hardship. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.